the bands I sign, like Teenage Bottle Rocket, they're uh, alcoholic. I wouldn't say drug addicts, but drug users. Just like most of the bands on Fat Records. They're all anti-religion. Uh, they do this because they love it and because they love getting wasted and playing punk rock. And that's what the label's about. <laughs> Early, early fat rag bands uh, were some of the first punk bands I really ever heard. Like I, uh, I'd watch like skateboard videos and snowboard videos my older brother had, and uh, it was all like you know, no effects, lag wagon, strung out, no use for a name. How ready are you? Everybody signed was just on the money. How do you beat I mean, that? Face to face, <laughs> face to face was first record, um, lag wagon's first record. Uh, my little go nowhere punk band at the time would get to open for the fat bands that came through here in Denver. So that was probably the biggest, you know, their biggest influence is how, even though they weren't from here, they helped bring uh, local, smaller local scenes like ours together. Uh, I think it really shaped a whole new wave of punk rock. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are like really shitty about stuff and they say, they think they ruined it. But for me, you know, it, it gave punk rock a whole new accessibility. I mean, we weren't really part of like any kind of skate culture or anything like that. I think I think we just wanted to consciously do something a little bit different than, you know, the, the kind of defined fat sound or whatever. But uh, but I mean, yeah, I can see why they did it. Like it obviously worked in a lot of levels for them because it, it helped put independent punk rock music uh, to a bigger level. Which is probably more important than you know some of those bands you like you know Green Day or Rancid blowing up. It's okay, and you know what? And we're equal opportunity label. Mexicans are allowed on Fat Records. Uh, there, there have been a few black men on Fat Records. No black women, so. I didn't see you come in there. Welcome to this video. It is our distinct pleasure to present to you a project which hails from the very depths of our DIY souls and from the hearts of so many succulent loins. This is a Fat Wreck. Fat Records is an independent punk rock record label that was launched by Fat Mike and Aaron Burkett back in the late 1900s when the United States with a sea of pagers and compact discs were just hitting the mainstream. And the smell of grunge had wafted over the entire planet. Thank you. But it was so much more than a record label. It was a place for degenerates to convene and squander the precious hours of an ever-fleeting youth. So fast forward a few decades and here we are, vine ripe into perfection and longing for a recap of the things that made those days so fucking sweet. And the number one thing on that list? The punk rock revival of the 1990s. <laughs> And it's our intention to bring you that recap. Specifically focusing on these punk rock bands, on this record label, during this period in time. And we want to do it the way we all remembered it. Through the eyes of the fans who were influenced by this music. From the bands, to the journalists, label owners, promoters, comedians, even political movements. We're happy to let everyone know we've made a ton of progress so far. Plenty of footage has already been shot, including some of the most significant interviews, including Fat Mike and Ryan Green. We've been all the way out to Fest and punk rock bowling this past year and talked to a ton of people. But we still need more input. Hey man. And there's probably no better place to get an inside look at Fat Records than inside Fat Records. So San Francisco is the next stop on the journey of our documentary. And that is the point at which we are forced to humbly ask for your participation in bringing this film to fruition. In a DIY scene, we have the ability and the resources to make small financial contributions go a long way. Besides, what's a couple bucks in the grand scheme of things? And we're offering some really great perks. For $10 or more, you get an early digital copy of the film and thank you in the credits. For $25 or more, get an early digital copy of the film, a thank you in the credits, and a physical copy of a fat comp. For $50 or more, you get an early digital copy, thank you in the credits and the CD packaging, a physical copy of the compilation, as well as a t-shirt and a poster. 
$100 or more, you get an early digital copy of the film, thank you in the credits and in the CD packaging, a physical copy of the comp, a t-shirt, and a screen printed poster. $250 or more and you're a producer. You get all the previous perks, plus a producer's credit in the film, and a screened movie size poster, as well as an invitation to the first screening. $1,000 or more, you get all the previous perks, an executive producer's credit, you'll actually be in the film if you want, and access to early cuts and full interviews before the release. Of the money we're asking for in this Indiegogo campaign, here's a breakdown of where that will go. 13% will go to post-production, 6% to the artwork creative, 3% to the Indiegogo feeds, another 3% to credit cards and PayPal feeds, 21% for plane tickets, 2% for car rental, 6% for hotel, another 4.5% for food and expenses, and a whopping 32% to create those perks that we're going to make for you. So here's something cool. We're having a contest so that bands that are unaffiliated with us and are unsigned get a chance to be on the physical comp that is part of one of the perks packages. Um, the bands will compete, and there's a lot of information on the website about it, so just go there. It's thefatrec.com, and click on a fat comp. So that's it. That's our pitch. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this, for your interest in Fat Records and the punk rock community at large. And thank you for any contribution you're able to make. The idea behind this is to be a collaborative effort which not only recognizes the significance of the 90s punk rock revival, but also shows the appreciation we have as fans for the bands who kept this music pure, a safe haven from the watered down mainstream. We want the story to be told from your point of view, so please help us tell it. Thank you.